Hello everybody, this is Neil from Northern Greyhound Adoptions in St. Albans, Vermont, and I wanted to introduce you to a special friend that I made today. I've been hanging with the hounds at the kennel, getting to know everybody, and, oh honey, it's okay. And it is my Thanksgiving wish that we can find a home for this one. This is Jennifer, and uh, as rare as it is in the greyhound world, every once in a while there is a return that comes back for reasons beyond the control of the dog, obviously, and sometimes beyond the control of the owner. And this is one of those cases. Jennifer, it's okay honey, it's okay. Jennifer belonged to an elderly couple and the gentleman died recently and his wife cannot handle taking care of a dog anymore. She's simply too old and her health isn't well enough. So Jennifer, as, as is the agreement when hounds are adopted from us, if for some reason the owner cannot keep them, they come back to us and we find a new home for them. And they did hold up their end of the bargain and bring her back. So in any event, she's been with us for some time She's a beautiful, sweet girl, very laid back, but I'm not going to lie to you, she is scared. She's scared to be here. She doesn't understand why she was given up, and she doesn't enjoy the atmosphere in the kennel at all. She's cowering in the back of her crate. The other dogs are too much for her. She recently had a lot of dental work done, had a number of teeth removed, and unfortunately her owners didn't really understand how to feed her properly once that was done, so she lost a bit of weight. We've been working on fattening her up. Hi, sweetie. It took me um, about a half an hour. We went out and walked around, and it's freezing out today, so I thought I'd throw her in the back of the car, take the ladies to the back seat for a little heavy petting action. <laughs> and uh, in any event, she was terrified, terrified to come out of her crate, terrified to go outside, afraid of everything around her. She didn't even seem like a dog that's lived outside the kennel before. So we've got some work to do, but I will say that in spending 20, 30 minutes in the back of the car, I have a very calm, loving, happy, unfrightened greyhound on my hands. So this is like so many of them, they just need a little bit of time and love, and, and in her case, probably just a day to blossom. Um, in any event, I'm going to spend a lot of time with this one, uh, and I'll, I'll let you know more about her as I get to know her personality a little better, but I will say this, I would give up Thanksgiving and Christmas to see this girl go home soon. So. You know the deal. You can find us at northerngreyhoundadoptions.org. Um, you know how to reach me on Facebook through Nigel, my boy. And uh, just look at this face. Look at this beautiful face. Hi, sweetie. You're going to take a nap on me soon, aren't you? Somebody's tired. It's time for us to go. But please do reach out and say hello. You can find us on Facebook as well. And as always, thank you for your support.